So our project was called An Artist's Journey and we really wanted to incorporate three uh, facets. We wanted to have deliberate practice, perseverance and feedback. Well, in reception, uh, we were looking for children to give each other feedback, and we obviously would try and f we wanted the feedback to be kind, specific, and useful. Um, I was really hoping to see the children be able to look at their own progress, to be able to see that they can get better at something if they keep going and they persevere. And I was also really looking for them to start using their own language to help each other. I think I wanted the project to help the children build those values of resilience and to be able to understand actually what feedback is and how they can use it to support their learning and I think they embraced it really well and they enjoyed giving each other feedback because they understood exactly what it was. Um, it was interesting because I initially thought in reception the quality of the feedback would be quite tricky. Some of the children struggle with speech and language and um, the, the quality of the speech and language is really broad across the class. What was really interesting from um, this exercise was how much the quality of the feedback impacted on the progress of the other child. So we started by doing a feedback of my piece of work so they all felt comfortable um, practicing the language of how to give someone constructive feedback. The, ex the process involved each child drawing a butterfly and then uh, in partners their partner would feedback um, how they could make it better um, in response to the Austin Butterfly video which we'd all watched um, and the children thoroughly enjoyed. Once they told him what was wrong about it. Did they say it's just wrong or were they more specific? They were more specific but they weren't mean about it. By the end of the project they would have four pictures and every time each picture would have improved because they'd had to build on their feedback. So I think it was important for us after showing them the video to explain to them what feedback was. And then we paired them all up, so they sat at table and partner A first fed back to partner B. Um, it meant that they had the language ready to use, but it also meant that we discussed how that felt because I could model that, oh, that, that one made me feel a bit upset, but actually I know I can get better, and kind of modelling that it was okay to not feel happy, that's an acceptable feeling, so it just made me confident. Well, we talked about you know, how, did it, how did it feel to receive that feedback, all of the children, without exception, all were happy with the feedback. There wasn't any hang up, there wasn't any insecurities, they were just fine. Another boy said, no, I'm very happy with the feedback because they were right. Um, so before we started the project, we actually invited some parents in to have a go themselves and they did a really good job. Um, the kids were really excited to go down and see their parents work afterwards as well. And it's always helpful in, in that modeling to and we have one child in particular who felt that having done it with his parent actually helped him come into the classroom and have a go at it and I think his parent mentioned to me at parents evening actually that she felt the same at previous occasions he had struggled with his resilience. So the main thing I've learned is to not underestimate them. Uh, actually the language they were using was very mature and they really did take on board to be kind, to be specific and they were very self-reflecting on their own feelings. Um, I've noticed as well we did a dance show the other day and the other class watched it and they were really eager to give feedback and they you know, were saying I really like that but actually next time if you more spread out that would make it look even better so they've started to use it talking about each other's work, which has been really nice. After this exercise, we, we witnessed, I certainly witnessed, children saying, can we, can we do that again, and using it in different um, areas. So they were, doing, they were using it in their maths, can you tell me how I could do this better? And they were asking their friends for feedback and using the language of feedback. Mm -hmm. can, can I get some feedback on this maths work? They all use that growth mindset language, stretching their brain is something I hear them often saying.